Hello, and thank you for joining me. I'm Anita Giraldo, Associate Professor of Theory and Design, and with me is Patricia Childers, Design Professor. We both teach at the New York City College of Technology in Brooklyn, New York. We're very excited to talk about our project, a design textbook targeted for first-year design students. The reason behind this project is that we've noticed students are better prepared for their sophomore design classes if they have developed more than design skills. They need to understand the context in which they create their work, and that context is developed through a living history of graphic design. We teach at a public university that serves the layered and diverse population of New York City. We recognize the responsibility to offer an education informed by a living design theory that resonates with the students and their life experiences. Like other BFA design programs, we require a two-year foundation program followed by two years of specialization with a strong design element. So you're probably wondering why another design textbook is needed and where does design history fit in? Since its emergence, graphic design history has been isolated. It's taught separately from the teaching of the design praxis courses, and it's taught as a progression of styles from exceptional individuals rather than in cultural context. Anita and I have asked, how can students escape the notion of the individual designer as a singular agent when we isolate design's practice from its culture, when we act on it from outside of it? And how can educators bring a robust integration of design and its culture to our students? As educators, we research and share graphic design from social, economic, and political contexts. Can we integrate this in the foundation of design education? Integration for Dory Turnstill, Dean of Faculty of Design at OCAD, asks, how do we allow the individual to customize within a range of products and services whatever experience is most aligned with their many complexities? And these conversations do expose multiple complexities. But by incorporating them in the teaching of design, we not only connect design to context, we invite students to design from within their cultures rather than isolated from them. We see design as an integrative field that bridges many subjects. Approaching it through critical awareness empowers students with a different type of education, one that's less about the imposition of form and more about meaning and how meaning can be created. Guided questions can lead to a more nuanced understanding, one that lays bare students' existing narratives and places them in context to provide a dynamic exploration of design. Because when we contextualize design, we can help to incorporate it as an experience, as process. With scaffolded assignments, students continue to explore and build on their work while developing confidence. They understand their process and decisions made from context, not replication. Fulfillment comes from the agency to make those choices according to the students' values. Understanding comes from reflecting on those decisions and alternate possibilities. Our course builds through four projects, an image, poster, motion or three-dimensional exercise, and a process documentation book. The poster's theme is on a significant design era, contributor, or investigation. It begins with research resulting in the presentation of a curated collection of design influence. Integral to this project is the awareness of, of the often overlooked influences and lack of diversity in the canon of graphic design. The range of student contributions will create an overview of a specific time and place. Students are encouraged to contribute to the People's Graphic Design Archive, begun by Louis Sandaus using their presentation material. The three-dimensional or time-based project is based on the poster and introduces pacing. The three-dimensional project, bringing their typographic design to the cube, means to spark an interest in product design, information design, and signage. The motion project, animating assets from their poster into a short GIF animation, introduces kinetic typography. The process book, the final project, is an opportunity for students to review methodology and incorporates all the elements from the semester. It shows how far the student has come. This piece, a mini portfolio, presents evidence that the student is a designer. 
This book is meant to be used as both a reference and a workbook. Our aim is to provide insight into the process of design. Working with students during the last nine months of social isolation has emphasized the need for multiple platforms. Multiple voices will enrich this content. We welcome your opinions and advice. Thank you for joining us. We look forward to hearing from you.